All right, back for another lovely state mandated meal break. So I know that this channel is supposed to be about preparedness and we'll get to some of this stuff like food storage and medical kits and things like that. Um, just like everybody else does. Uh, what I wanted to take a minute to do is talk about a different aspect of preparedness that you see people really struggle with in reality. Um, so if anybody's ever watched the, uh, the TV show on the History Channel alone, you see a lot of survival experts go out there and while they have the physical skills um, to take care of themselves, to feed themselves, to make fire, things like that, what gets them every single time is the isolation, the emotional problems uh, that surface when you're alone with yourself and when you got to be up in here. So uh, what I wanted to take a minute to do is to talk about your priorities and preparing yourself mentally for a bad situation. Look. We've already started this low cascade down, uh, riots everywhere, burnings, what's, you know, what's good and right is now becoming illegal. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. Maybe in another video, not today. But what I wanted to talk about is your emotional and spiritual and social preparedness. So what I mean by your emotional preparedness, look, the idea is that you need people, okay? If you're going to be a lone wolf, that's fine. Uh, that'll be a decision that you'll regret the rest of your life. Both days of it. Um, you know, all it takes is you getting sick one time and you starve to death. Look at Christopher McCandless. Uh, that's the guy from Into the Wild that got sick out in that school bus. Guy had all kinds of skills, all kinds of brains, brains or never mind um <clears throat> but he had no one there to take care of him no one there to help him no one there to help him prepare the the moose that he shot all kinds of things anything that another set of hands could have helped with or another set of eyes so <clears throat> you need a group around you period even if it's just one or two people that'll make your life so much easier but what you need to make sure of with those people is that you've chosen the right people and that you've done proper vetting and proper maintenance. Proper maintenance of your emotional state, proper maintenance of friendships, of relationships. Don't walk away from any given day or an argument with a friend without having made things right. A family member, a friend, it doesn't matter. Make it right and do it now because later may be too late. <clears throat> so that's one aspect of preparedness that people don't do. They don't maintain their daily relationships. Another aspect of your emotional preparedness is be prepared for the idea that nothing's gonna be the same. The quiet uh, that will ensue if there is a full on deuce hitting the air circulation device scenario is the, the quiet is going to get people. They're going to go batshit when they can't get to their iPhone or access a network or what, you know, their social media is gone. People are going to lose it because they're going to have to have face to face interactions with people. And you need to have maintained a relationship with somebody in order for that to be successful. Wow. Came full circle on that one, didn't we? So the next thing is maintain your body. Yes, don't try to adjust your screen. I'm fat. <laughs> I get it. I'm working on it. Um, you know, in, in my office right over here, when I finish my state mandated meal break and catch my next one, I've got that, the TRX. That's hanging on my door. And that will allow you to uh, get something done in a very short period of time. That'll be on my next break. So, <clears throat> maintain your body, maintain your health, your teeth. Anybody ever seen Castaway? You think you could pull off that trick with the ice skate? I think you're fooling yourself. Maintain that. 
maintain medical stores of painkillers, antibiotics, put them in some mylar, make sure they're in a cool, dry place, store them appropriately. Because one abscess tooth, one ear infection, one sinus infection, all the things that you could normally go down the, the street to quick care for and take care of business and be right back on the streets, that may not be an option. So take care of your body. Take care of your health. Invest in yourself. Invest in your mental health. Invest in your relationships. Now, as far as your spiritual health, health, whatever your relationship is, whatever religion you choose, you still have to maintain that. I don't care if you're Muslim, if you're Christian, if you're agnostic. you got to figure out how to maintain this, the soul, the spirit. Because while everybody knows the rule of threes, um, the usual one that people leave out is three seconds without hope. The usual rule of threes you hear is, you know, three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. Well, there's a littler one. Three seconds without hope, without direction, without a calm center, without goals, and without some form of peace in your heart, you're not going to have the will to get up every day. There's an old show from the 90s uh, called The Edge with Anthony Hopkins, L. McPherson, and Alec Baldwin in it. And he talks about what people die of in the woods. They die of shame. What did I do uh, wrong? How could I have gotten myself into this? And they sit there and they, they're, they're ashamed and they're locked up in their head and they fail to do the one thing that could save them. Think. Think. Act. Without that forethought and without the will to act, it's over. So prioritize those things in your mind. Maintain your body. Maintain your mental health. Maintain your relationships. And maintain your spiritual health so that you have some form of... Uh, some form of spiritual impetus, something to move forward for, some type of goal. And with that, I will sign off, and maybe the next uh, next video we'll do a little bit like food storage or something like that. Anyway, have a great day.